So now, if we're assuming that this is Roy versus Rob, what what do you think? What do you think about stages for this matchup? So, judging from uh, Goliath's playstyle, he is a more aggressive with Rob. Yeah. Um, I think they both want close range stages. Yeah. So Smashville, Lilat. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they, uh, it appears to me that they uh, picked um, Smashville. So you would have it right on the head there. Um, I don't know who won RPS or whatever, but um, group bands, they got two Smashville. So I think it's safe to assume that both of them wanted to be on a smaller stage, yeah. Um, I don't know how good of a pick that is for Rob, but it's, uh, you know, I think it should work out pretty well for Roy. Um, I think the key here is if um, uh, Gabe can then uh, ledge trap uh, all for none, like, efficiently. Uh, I do feel like Roy is very explosive, though, you know, so it's going to be kind of tough to keep him at bay, you know? I think, um, I think Gabe just needs to make use of his laser and projectile and space him out. Yeah. And call out when he's going to go for jump-ins and such. Yeah. You um, know, that's the thing, though, is I find he has, uh, all for none, has a very efficient way of aerialing where he really doesn't get punished for aerialing your shield or anything. He'll fair your shield and you'll get punished for it, like for trying to punish it, you know? So yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people, the big uh, gap to, like, actually contest with Avery is learning when to hold shield and just to stay in shield because some things just aren't as safe as like you just have to learn to respect shield, him you know yeah um so i think it's going to be a, a matter of patience like you said um just kind of staying back keeping him out not not taking the bait and like going in and trying to brawl with him because brawling with roy i feel like just isn't a good idea especially for a character like rob he's got a big hurt box you know I just don't think that that's really gonna turn out so well for him. I think he's gonna fall into like jab to back air confirms and stuff pretty easily yeah. as well. So and Rob being a heavy, he he is also like a bit more on the combo heavy side. Yeah, he, Roy. I find that I can just combo him up pretty easily, and that's you know with Snake, who's not a combo character, you know. All right, yeah. So see exactly what I'm talking about. It's just like. Exactly what we thought was gonna happen just happened. We just got 50% just right off the bat for basically free. And just, you know, I think we have to call attention to how efficient All for None's gameplay is. I mean, he really just, he gets everything off of every opportunity. You know, he, uh, you get a unsafe uh, get up attack, you die for that. Like, everything. It's, he, he reacts really well to everything you do. Yes, he doesn't let up. So now, I want to see if uh, Goliath can make some adjustments. Yeah. yeah, see, he's tossing out stuff, but he's just not putting it in a place where it's actually putting any pressure on um, on All for None, you know? And also, he's, he's trying to go for the brawls like you were talking about. Yeah, he's just going in there, like, trying to fight, and that's just not how I think Rob operates in this matchup. Okay, he's playing a little slower now, slowing it down just a tad. Oh, Ooh, flex nice. it back. Smart. See, there was a perfect opportunity there, and he just didn't go for it. I feel like now he's playing a little too conservatively. It's like over-adjusting one way or the other, you know? There's a very fine balance, I'm sure, that you have to get in the matchup specifically. There was a, you, have to, like, uh, you have to mix it up. You have to be unpredictable. Yeah. Um, Because if you play with one style in moderation, like, all the time, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Avery's gonna take advantage of that. Yeah, I think he also needs to make more use of his uh, of his, his side B. Yeah. Uh, the oh, tops, side B? The top, the side B. I think, I think there's lots of things that um, that Goliath needs to take better advantage of. Because you know, honestly, I think that this matchup isn't undoable. You know, at least I see it as that way. It, it's tough. I think that probably Roy wins it, but. Okay, scary recovery back to stage. He's making a lot of use of the- Ooh, stage fight. Ooh. Nice. All right, so He's making this... good use of the neutral air, though. Yes. Face. Dead? Ooh. Oh, he's not. Avery did not follow up with that. Yeah, um, no back air. That's actually very surprising. <laughs> Ooh. He 
Maybe that dead. Oh. Oh. Ghost. oh, yep. There it is. Be sure it was too slow there, I think. Yeah. I think that challenge... See, that's the thing, is I feel like I'm not... I don't think you're trying to challenge Roy, you know? Because he's got those um, disjoints, you know? I, I just feel like challenging Roy on that just wasn't the right idea, you know? Yeah. I get that. Because Roy is also just faster, you know? So it's faster. His hitboxes are either as big or bigger, and he has way more kill power. I don't think there's any reason to challenge there, honestly. Um... I think he can make more use of air dashes or air dodges. That would yeah. help him a lot. That would, that would help against the Roy. Um, All right. So interesting. We are on Talos. Talos. Oh. Um, I, I'm sure that there's definitely top Talos. things you can do on this stage. I, I'm almost sure of it because I, I just feel like you put it putting top on that on those top platforms must be neat. I, I'm sure you can do some cool stuff with oh, that. Yeah, you can um, you can stop like a high recovery then Ooh. from there. All right, so yeah, just once again, I, mean, I think the name of the game is efficiency. I mean, All For None just knows how to get kills, get damage, and get it fast. And that's just, like, those trees are just longer than most other players in this school. I mean, they're just, they're more optimized. They're very, I know I keep saying the word, but they're just so efficient. They really are. Ooh, nice dodge. All right, he's going back to playing a little bit more conservative. But Avery just going just back doesn't, in. It doesn't seem like he's reacting to what Avery is doing. It seems like he's trying to predict it, yeah. you know? And that just doesn't work against a character like... Um, I feel like you have to kind of react to him sometimes. And uh, here it's just like... He'll be like, okay, he's going to stay back. He's going to assume that he's going to stay back. He just gets run into and just dies, you know? Seems it's just hard for him to get a read on his uh, on his movement, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, I feel like at this point a grab will probably seal the stock uh, for Rob, you know. Yeah. So this is by no means over yet, but you know it's not looking great. Nice. Good All right. Bats him away. Side Gosh. B also can be used for punishing as well here. Um, I feel like yeah, I feel like he's spot dodging a lot. Yeah. Roy is a very scary character. Avery is a very scary player, and that was a good set. It's just you know, just a difference in play styles, and unfortunately, Goliath just not able to get kind of uh, used to that fast, efficient style of play. I I, I mean yeah. that that fast fast efficient style of play has been dominating Hofstra this entire semester, so that's not a surprise, you know? Yeah.